Okay, it's uh, morning two, we just had a super scrummy breakfast. I'd show you the jacks, but I've nearly finished it. But a really good local um, Lizzie breakfast thing. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it. We've got a lot of rain coming down right now. I'll try and show you. Um, I think we're going to try and sit it out for a few minutes. Often in the Caribbean when rain comes down, it's like a really passing moment and flies by. But this actually looks like it might be here for a stay for a little bit. It's going to make some slippery, fun, muddy riding now. So there's every cloud and silver lining. sharing leftover breakfast with a super cute doggy. This is dog number one you're gonna adopt. You're gonna have, oh, you're gonna have 10 by the end of the week. Oh, he's so happy. The rain is looking bad for the day. I think we've got 70% chance of rain all day and it's uh, quite wet rain, although it's not raining this moment. So as a group, we are gonna have a rooftop meeting to try and decide what we want to do because some of the trails that we're going to do today are going to be pretty muddy and slippery and we do have some novice off-road riders in the group because that's the one of the natures and the beauties of the tours that the girls do here it's for all abilities and we want to make sure we're all safe and we're all having fun so one thing i want to throw out there is right now we've traveled all the way across the world to come to Belize to explore and ride bikes the weather isn't oh, going to kill us, like, we've got skin, so it doesn't just, matter like, if, yeah, we it. It. if we have to ride no, a bit slower and yeah, steadier, like Sorry. <laughs> because of the conditions. I guess I'm leaning more towards riding because I just don't think it's going to get better, so it's like, okay. we're going to wait. Then we're riding. Let's go change. Wow, I was the deciding yeah. vote. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ride! Yeah. Woo! Cool. just pulled up and we're about to head into the jungle but we stopped at a little kind of opening big citrus sort of grove next to us and then you can just see up into the mountains and the edge of the jungle it's pretty spectacular Incredible, look at the size of the canopy up above and around us. And there's like waterfalls and rocks. It's chucking it down with rain, but it's still absolutely stunning. I love about trips like this. We're a group of females, different levels of experience, and we're all helping each other get through. Like if you're, you know, wanting to get into off-roading and don't know where to start, trip with these guys. Females only is such an awesome way of doing it. You know, that was the first time she's ever been on a water crossing. Yesterday was the first time she's ever been off-road. Like what an epic experience and way to do it with awesome girls. Yeah, whoop, whoop. It's just, just awesome.
What an epic spot. Wow. Now, um, I, can, now I can kill you. Now you can kill me. Yeah. Dig, dig nobody, a re... Nobody will find you. Nice. Dig a big that was hole. My, that was my well, um, I have uh, video evidence of the confession. <laughs> 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 if I get it out yeah. on social media in time, but I have no signal. Yeah, exactly. So if, exactly. if, if you, you see have... this video, I'm still alive. I'm gonna go with that. Although you are covered in water. today and I'm pretty pleased with the kit I decided to bring. So I've got a big military issue waterproof jacket and then on my bottom half I'm wearing my Moscow trousers. So these things are pretty clever because they're not fully waterproof but if I try and show you the front panel there and the, the butt panel is waterproof the rest isn't which means you get the benefit of where the most of the elements are going to hit you being dry but the coolness of them not all being waterproof, and I'm really comfortable. Cool. We are at a waterfall spot. There is an amazing barbecue kind of party house here. But if we walk out the other side, there's three layers of waterfalls. Wow. Ben and my wife Federica. I'm very good at tasting her food and cook and eating, but I'm not very good at cooking much. Uh -huh. But she's the expert. So what we are trying to do here is we are trying to safeguard some of the intangible and tangible heritage, the culture and the, the food and the, the costume and all of that we try to safeguard because someday or one of these days is going to pay her. short blast and we have just rocked up at the famous Belizean hot sauce factory. Oh, my mouth might not be ready for this. <laughs>
What an epic view. Eee, this looks like a lunch spot. Cool, so the burritos are being picked up. We are gonna ride onto a beautiful spot to eat the burritos instead of sitting here on the side of the road, which I think is a great idea. So that was a pretty awesome day. We've done loads of twisty roads. What's impressed me is quite how good the tarmac is and the road quality. Um, some beautiful roads, epic scenery. We kind of missed lunch spot at a natural pool because it was closed. And so we've come straight to the hotel, which means burritos are going to meet us here. And there's a swimming pool. Pretty cool spot. And it seems, it feels like it's just us here. Yeah. Um, Welcome to the jungle with luxury. 